welcome back to the vlog. Come experience spring in Montana. P.S. This is the best way to experience spring in Montana. Don't come here and do it. Okay, so I bathed the dog too. And he was freaking out a little bit. And I went to get the hose that was out here by the cars. And he was pulling so hard I couldn't get him to come back the way I wanted. So I stepped over this log. Right there's where my foot went. It went really badly for me. Um, but also the wind. Like everybody knows these kind of like if you drop them. Sometimes they hit the switch and it starts spraying. The wind was actually a massive advantage because it landed like that once and it was like full open. But I it was upwind so uh, it carried all the wind away. It's kind of nice. I meant it carried all the water that normally would have splattered me away. I also finally just got the last of the pumpkin up. Cool beans. It's kind of insane when you let a bunch of wet leaves and stagnate in a bag. Like, look at the difference in color. And then, like, look at that. I mean, that's actually still froze. Look, yeah, it's pretty gross. This weather's very interesting because when the sun comes out, even with the ridiculous wind, it's actually very nice. But, like, when I was, we were washing the Colorado and the sun went behind the clouds for a consistent, like, yeah, and see, when I got in a windbreak, it's very nice. Um, but it went behind the clouds for a consistent, like, probably 15 or 20 minutes then you know the mist from washing the truck and the wind blowing all the water around so I was mildly moist and shirtless it got miserable I just didn't want to get my shirt any dirtier than I needed to plus I need to start working on my tan the earliest you do it the better because then by like June it'll be like oh cool I'm in the sun for 14 hours and do not burn and yes I am aware that skin cancer will be my cause of death Nathan was tracing the cracks in the uh, bricks on the uh, fireplace. The fire pit. Night night. Are you a clean dog? He was mad at me for a little bit because I had to get him on the leash to uh, wash him. Alright, so one of these kind of balls. Let's see how much. I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna try to compensate for the wind and get it to Nathan. Well, the wind didn't take as much as I. <laughs> the one a couple of minutes, I guess I threw it a little bit harder, but the one a couple of minutes ago, I tried to compensate for the wind and I threw it like four or five feet wide and it missed him by like six feet. So I was like, I should be compensating by like 10 feet. This is kind of interesting the way those, like the plastic part of the feet wore off. But I mean, I, like, I guess you put wheels on them, but what else would you do when they're sitting on concrete? There's really nothing else you could do to make them not do that. Cause like, here's one where the plastic isn't totally gone. And I guess that one's not quite totally gone either, but yeah. I don't know what else you'd do like, besides wheels. And actually little tiny casters would be really nice on those. Those are kind of heavy. So you either gotta slide them or lift them. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know what he's doing that. I doubt it's a woodpecker because it wouldn't peck in random places. But those own holes don't look. Oh, I guess they are just filled with pitch. I bet there's some. I wonder if there's pine beetles in this tree. There's a lot of pitch on that though. That thing would basically explode if it lit it on, lit on fire. Jeez. Then, tell me what you were doing there. <laughs> Trying to tape the rocks back together. Good grief, he's cute and helpful. So I'm assuming these are molehills. Or like remnants of them. But what do moles do in the winter? I'm assuming they probably, well maybe. When the ground's super froze, I don't think they could dig. And I mean, cause I mean, you'd think if they were coming up to the surface doing a hole, a dig in a hole, you'd think there'd be like a pile of dirt that would end up on top of the snow. And you don't see that. Like, do they just like dig super deep down, like gather some food, go super deep down and hibernate? I mean, they must. I don't know if I've pointed this out, but like our uh, the side that doesn't get the direct sunlight, that snow was like covering the entire thing on this side and was about a foot deep like two days ago. It's kind of crazy. And then Nathan mentioned this, like where I've made a pile shoveling and then where the sun never hits. Even with as warm as it is and how like everything that gets sun is like thawed. Except for where I, the other place where I shovel piles up over there, but it's kind of crazy. Well, I've been uh, showing the updates on the snow melting. 
That's gone out the window. It's supposed to do this, like, through the middle of the day tomorrow, I think, is what it says. And the poor truck there. This might be the first time it's actually been clean with snow on it, though, because... I mean, maybe right when winter hit last year, but it's like we immediately went to hunting season and, like, it snowed, like, right as hunting season started. So that it was immediately, like, up in the snowy, muddy mountains. This snow is very similar to that. Wet, wet, really, really wet. Rainish almost before. It's been snowing the entire day and it just finally started to stick. That shows how wet the snow had been all day. The ducks will be waiting outside. Did you look outside? Look outside. It's raining outside. I'm going. You hear a dark. You're cute, though. I looked outside a lot of times. So, two things. I got to work at 6 a.m. It is now 10.30-ish. 10.40, probably, p.m. And I'm just now leaving work. So, that's fun. And I'm working at six for day four. Why do I do these, these things to myself? I did it completely to myself because last night I wasn't feeling good. So I had to do all my charting from last night, from yesterday, I mean. Plus all my stuff from today. So it's my own fault. But, <clears throat> also, this was all grass earlier, like this morning when I got here. It's snowed most of the day well not mo well i don't know like mid-morning lunchtime ish okay i don't know what time this person got here i don't know whose car it is but there's all that room all that room and you parked next to me why Okay, it's continuing, and as you can see, like, so much is on the truck now, it's actually collecting on the Ram logo on the side. But it's going to be kind of interesting, or actually even that whole body line, really. But it's going to be very interesting to see, because it didn't really have a chance to get dusty, because it's been so wet and muddy. It'll be kind of interesting to see if it, like, thaws and basically, like, has minimal water spots, kind of like right after you wash it if you don't dry it. Or... If it's going to look horrifying. I know the way my look goes. It'll be option two. Here's our uh, garage roof I was showing the other day. That was pretty much thawed completely off. And as I mentioned, it's still snowing. I guess this video is like a couple hours later and it's still snowing. I guess it does kind of look like we're in the eye of the storm. Because it's like kind of cloudy everywhere. Yeah, this is funny. It literally snowed the entire day, and there's still parts of this part of the sidewalk that are dry. Maybe I'm only going to have to show the steps. Because as you can see, the steps. Because wood doesn't collect heat as much. So it got a chance to melt, but... Let's see so far. Oh yeah, so far. It's not even water spotting. This might not end up too bad. But the pile on the hood is also, like... So it's probably a good thing it was a pretty warm snow because uh it's known for probably like 22 hours non-stop pretty heavy all day today so if it wouldn't have been warm enough or like that and that was happening we probably would have gotten like a foot okay i know it's not that warm but that is so half six and a half degrees above freezing and that thing's like super in the shade like i got into the sun while i was shoveling and yeah, like that's Montana weather for you. It's like a half hour ago, it stopped snowing after snowing nonstop for like 24 hours. Yeah, and see, like, look at how small that pile I already got. That's how warm it had been. And then it snows all day, and now it's already almost back to 40. So, Nathan, I got back in the house, and he a lot was losing his mind because um, I asked him if he wanted to come out, and about a half hour later, no, it was like 15 minutes it took me I got in the house he was just about to come outside and he was all mad and he's like well I wanted to watch you shovel <laughs> you're a dork and then I'm like well it's too late now and then he's like well I want and then he's like I want to play I'm like okay go ahead and he came out here and sat in the dirt and cried 
He's like, well, I wanted to play with you. He didn't specify that, so. Hi. Now, here we are. Football. Snow. See this, like I said, though, look at how icy that is from it being super wet snow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.